Becca. Becca. She said, I don't know, Daddy. I got my little babies. She said, I got my little boys and girls. Becca, you are so silly. I see you feeding your babies. I said, I got a bunch of them. I got to give them some milk. She said, I got to give them some milk. Well, hey, everybody. I'm here with Becca and Jericho's newborn litter of pups. Man, I'm so excited to share this video with you. Um, it's just, this this is this is a special kind of litter. Becca's, you know, I can't be, I can't be partial, but she's like a super mom here. And uh, she's always been one of the most nurturing. And if I could just uh, have her teach a class, it would definitely be on uh, raising and taking care of uh, pups and teaching all the girls how to do a good job at it because she is by far, no comparison, probably the best at doing so. Um, she surprised me for sure. Thought she, thought we were only going to have maybe seven, eight pups to, uh, tops, and uh, she actually broke her sister's record, Bree, who's uh, kind of laying here right next to us. She wants to. She's actually pouting right now because she hasn't seen Becca in two days, and she wants to come in here, and she wants to see her sister, and she wants to see her sister's little baby. So we're going to let Bree come on in here and give a little peek, and then uh, we're just uh, going to kind of discuss what you can expect in the coming weeks ahead, and then I'll kind of come in with the camera. Uh, show uh, good uh, close-ups of the pups kind of just laying there nursing on uh, Mama Becca here and her taking care of them uh, We'll let Bree come in here and then we'll discuss those things and uh, I'll kind of just let the camera go till we run out of time here and get a good couple minutes of just the, the pups and the mom so Right now not much to see uh, other than the pups are here. They're healthy and they're kind of kicking off the process there um, a few things you can expect if you're on the list we're going to begin updates officially now so from every 10 to 14 days we'll have a new video update between the different stages of development and then we'll also have attachments that we'll send out periodically for this first update for example we will send the puppy pointer sheet and of course this newborn uh, the, the newborn video and then we'll, we'll uh, not begin collecting pickup or shipping information but we will mark the calendar for the pickup dates as well as shipping date as well in this first general update the next update you can expect will be in about 12 days roughly. Uh, we have to wait till the pups begin all crawl walking around and their eyes are open and that's when we begin the next update. Around three and a half, four weeks of age we do the discovery update, my favorite update, and uh, that's over a three or four day period where all the pups are basically discovering that hey I'm a puppy, I'm a dog. So really exciting stuff because all at once they'll be walking playing eating food drinking water they'll be doing everything a dog's supposed to do and learning how to do it all at once and we'll capture a video of that then we generally do a, a typical just playtime video around uh, week five and also we'll do the picking process uh, during w during week six and uh, that will be kind of the more extensive where we break things down we'll send an email describing the pup's temperament development color size everything and then uh, of course by that time we've had four or five rounds of video and it's time to pick out the puppies and you'll have a very well-rounded approach and process in doing so. We'll send the information sheet during the discovery stage update and then the medical info sheet as well before pups go home. So there's all the clutter work done and out of the way and uh, we'll spread all that out but for the main part we want you just to sit back and uh, push the autopilot button and watch these puppies grow. It's going to be really exciting. Um, the biggest litter of visuals we've ever had and the only pups we've got here right now and for the next two months So it's gonna be all about the visuals uh, for the next couple weeks And it's gonna be all about this crew right here. So Becca Jericho and their pups here are uh, they're gonna be in the spotlight and it's gonna be really fun to share with everybody so uh, Very rare, but I, I believe we have nine families on this list at birth But being that there's 11 that opens up two spots so what we'll first do is contact everybody who's on some of the future list for the later summer lineup and uh, they'll have the option first to move to anything that's available and then we'll open to the general public if there's any spots available after that uh, for those who don't move onto this list so uh, for the most part I'm gonna wrap up the talking and basically just film them a little bit we'll let Bree come in here I'm gonna baby on back a little bit and uh, we'll do the boy and girl ratio we'll count that out and I'll give you a few close-up looks of the pups here. They're pretty much both in a uh, wore-out sleeping mode state, but I'll move the pups around and get them on nursing, and we'll, uh, and we'll kind of kick this off and uh, launch this first newborn Becca Jericho puppy video. She's a good girl. I know it. Bree, Bree. 
Bree Bree, you silly girl. You silly girl. You wanna come in here and see your sister? You wanna come in here and see your sister? You wanna come see your sister? <laughs> I know she's a real good girl. I know, Daddy. Look at all my babies. She said, Look at Bree Look at all my little boys and girls. Bree Bree, you want to see one? You want to see one? And one of the things we're just able to do, most programs couldn't even think about, but since we're uh, we're in our second and third generation uh, of dogs and pups here, and uh, everybody has been raised and developed and grown here, so. We have that natural kind of pack order established where all the pups, all the dogs can interact with each other. And actually, after three or four days, we will we will do that. We will let every single female come in here and meet Becca and uh, meet Becca's new pups. And then when the pups begin to crawl walking, after they've had their first rounds of shots, we'll, we'll begin opening up the slots and full blown allow the pups to interact with all the grown dogs. And, tremendously tremendously makes a huge difference and help on their development while they're here because not only are they getting exposed and taught things by their mother but they're able to play all day and interact all day not not with just us but to other grown dogs as well I mean I could talk about this for a good long while but just for example being in the summer some of the pups will actually begin swim training and learn learning how to swim by by merely hanging out with some of the grown dogs and watching them swim, they'll jump in the pond eventually. Uh, some of them will, and actually start swimming before they ever join join their families at six and seven weeks old. So really cool stuff there, and uh, really just helps us have a very well-rounded program where everybody gets along and uh, just tremendously helps. Like I said, with the pups' development and uh, social sociability is through the roof for sure. Where we our pups are, uh, in my opinion, a little too friendly, but that's never a bad thing. She's a good girl right there.